Well, the weather is certainly looking summery outside, so I decided that the dolls could use some lemon motif decor for the front porch. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this doormat is to make. All right, like we do every month when we make a doormat, we are going to start with a rectangle of felt. And th these are always one and a half by two and a half inches. Sometimes I forget to tell you in the video the size, but it's always in the blog post. So always follow the link in the description to the blog post if I miss any details. I've got a bunch of these on hand. I cut a whole bunch a while back. So to make our our doormat. This time we are going to actually fold one of these in half and I've got my fabric scissors here and I'm going to start. Here's my fold and I'm just going to eyeball a half circle. Let's see if I can do this on camera and not mess it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There. So now we have a half circle because we're going to make a shape doormat, which you probably saw in the intro to the video. So I've got matte Mod Podge. We always coat our doormats with some matte Mod Podge so that it does a, that does a couple of things. Number one, it seals the surface, and I put a lot on. I mean, I pretty much saturate the felt. Um, this seals the surface, and it makes the felt so that it's something that will sit still and stay flat on the porch or wherever you're going to use this. This one actually I think would be really cute in a kitchen also. If you have a, a themed kitchen in your dollhouse, this would be really cute. So this will take a while to dry and I will come back and move it around on my tray a couple of times because the Mod Podge does soak through and sometimes these try to attach themselves. So I'm going to go run some errands while this dries, and when it's dry, I'll come back and we can start painting. All right, once the Mod Podge is dry, we're going to give the whole top of the mat a coat of white paint. This is just some white apple barrel that Plaid sent to me. For the most part, the paints we're using today are were sent by Plaid, if I could forget to mention. I'm just going to squirt some there. Use one of these nice brushes, and just give the top a nice coat. Now we. We're going to paint over part of this, but I find it's easier to give the base coat of white and then we get nice clear colors on our other colors. I want just a little bit more. Now if we had not put the Mod Podge on there, that white paint would have soaked in and gotten very blotchy. But because we put the coat of Mod Podge on, one coat of white paint, and this looks really nice. So this needs to dry all the way, which won't take too long because it is just a cra acrylic craft paint. When it's dry, we'll come back and start putting our lemon together. All right, so the white paint is dried, and now I've got some folk art in moon yellow. I'm gonna use two colors of yellow to do my lemon today. You don't have to, you could do this all with one color. But I like the effect. I was looking online at different lemon sliced doormats, and the ones I liked the best were done with two colors. So I figured that's what I'm going to do. So I've got this is the darker of the two colors I'm going to use. And I'm just going to very carefully, using a flat brush, I'm painting what will represent the rind on the lemon. And of course, you could change this up. You could make this a lime doormat or an orange one. You could do this in any citrus fruit you want. And this doesn't have to go by the door. This could go in a kitchen. There's a lot of lemon or citrus fruit kitchens I know out there in real life. All right, so that is that. I'm going to let this paint dry. And when this is dry, I'll come back and we'll fill in the lemon segments. All right, our first yellow paint is dry. And it's kind of a uh, orangey yellow. I love that for the rind. I'm going to, for the flush, I'm using bright yellow from Apple Barrel. And brush down. I'm not going to worry about details at this point. I'm going to come back and add our details. We're just going to leave a white border 
between the rind color and the flesh color and try to make it even all the way around, but it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because this isn't, you know, it's not it. It's not supposed to look like a real lemon. It's supposed to look like a lemon sliced doormat. All right, that's all there is to that. I'm going to let this paint dry, and then I'll come back and we'll do our final step. All right, this is the point we've gotten this to now that it's all dry, and it looks good. All we need to do is make the segment lines. Going back to the same white paint, you could also probably use a paint pen for this. But I will, I'm just going to stick with the paint since it's on my table. And I've got a really small brush. This is a number two shader. I picked it because it's a small tip and it's short, so I've got more control over what I do. Now, I, when I looked online at these at the real doormats and real um, floor mats that are the, fruit, the citrus slices, there were anywhere from three to six segments. So it's up to you how many you want to do. I think I am going, the first thing I'm going to do is find the center. And ideally that center will be kind of round. So let's see how many I get. I think this is probably going to give me six. And you just have to be kind of patient with yourself and try to draw a straight line with your paint. Kind of round off those edges. If I go straight up, yeah. and it doesn't have to be perfect. Now this might need two coats of paint of this white, and that's okay. It won't take very long to dry. There, I'm going to let this paint dry, and then when this is dry, I'm going to come back off camera and give a second coat. And when the second coat is dry, I'll come back and we'll look at this over on the front porch of the dollhouse. All right, here is our lemon sliced doormat in front of the front door of the dollhouse. I love how this looks, a little splash of summer. Um, on the camera's viewfinder, it is looking much more orange than it does in person. Um, but you can make yours any color you want to make any citrus fruit you want. Be sure and check the blog post if you want to see the photos I took, the list of the colors I used, all of that good stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. What kinds of things would you like to see for your dollhouse? If you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my content, be sure and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put out my next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.